Uh, good, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to all my fellow panelists. I've been listening very patiently to uh, uh, the others, so can I please expect a courtesy of a couple of minutes uninterrupted. Rahul, speaking as a layman, because the good colonel is there uh, to speak as a professional, as an expert, I support the Agnivir scheme for the following reasons. One, the chiefs of all three wings of our armed forces are supporting it enthusiastically. And across decades, across different governments, I cannot think of a single instance where our chiefs have knowingly taken a decision not in the interest of either the armed forces or the nation. It follows that if they are supporting a recruitment scheme, they would have banged their heads together on this one and ironed out all the possible impediments. Number two, and this was emphasized by the late General Rawat, the armed forces are not employment scheme. They are not Manrega, I'm sorry. In fact, they should be, and they are, one of the toughest forces and places to gain entry. Only the best should be chosen, and once they are routinely tested, so that they remain the best. It follows that if our military feels that there should be multiple rounds of merit-based competition, by all means, it should be encouraged to implement such a policy. I repeat, you are joining the defense forces, not a government employment scheme like Manrega. Number three, such recruitment schemes are followed by many nations. India is not an exception. You've already quoted China, Russia, France, and USA. Number four, the world over, you want the youngest, the fittest, the best to be trained for all future eventualities as begets their fate as well as the fate of the nation. The UPSC and the IITs have a multi-level selection process. So why shouldn't the armed forces? Number five. As far as the scheme now is concerned, you have a merit-based inclusion after which you are trained for four years, at the end of which you accumulate more than 10 lakhs and you get an opportunity to further compete for a position in the defense forces. For those who do not succeed at this second step, they come out of it with a degree, 10 lakhs, and a glowing certificate of having served the country when so young and inculcated the values of discipline and national service cherished by all Indians. And as many states are now clamoring to, they are saying they are going to induct them in other artillery forces as well. Uh, you know, like for example, CRPF and other Jawans and other police forces. I can't think of better takes on the CV of a 21 year old than this. Can you? Number six. As for those worried that the trained and the battle ready rejected at the second round would be instead recruited by underworld and terror organizations. I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. As ridiculous as saying, once rejected for the national team for Olympic boxing or short put, the tens of thousands of pugilists and short putters would be recruited by stone pelters and thugs. Number seven, let's not go blindly by the naysayers, because remember, their Modi hatred made them oppose even the toilets for the poor. And finally, Rahul, just 30 seconds, eight. A word of caution. Rahul, we have seen how this government repeatedly brings great schemes and policies, but then in reaction to opposition prodding and street violence, hastily retreats. Farm laws being just one glaring example. So who knows? This government might take back this scheme too, which would be a pity. Yeah. Yes, I just want to finish by saying that can I please can I please ask the good the good Dr. Sudanshu Trivedi one question. Sudanshu ji, you know when the farm laws were repealed, Modi ji ne kya kaha tha? I want to ask you a point blank. Now, when it comes to 8 o'clock, Modi ji will not say that I have put this scheme for the armed forces, but I will come back to the scheme for the country. Okay. Look, फार्म लॉ के अंदर कुछ इस प्रकार के एलिमेंट चले गए थे जो आपको भी दिखाई पड़ रहा था मैं सिर्फ सिंपल बात कहता हूं फार्म लॉ का सबसे ज्यादा विरोध कहां हुआ था पंजाब में सबसे ज्यादा उस विरोध के साथ कौन खड़ा था कांग्रेस और अकाली अब ये देखिए इसको आप इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट भी कहेंगे एंड द ओनली गवर्नमेंट विच हैज पास द फार्म लॉ इन देयर विधानसभा वाज आम आदमी पार्टी एंड व्हाट यू कैन से आम आदमी पार्टी स्वेट द पोल and uh, Akali Dal and Congress routed and the biggest leader of the farmers I am not naming because I do not want to name anybody he lost his security deposit and he the did, biggest leader of Uttar Pradesh farmers unko apne gaon mein vote nahi mile utne jitne log unki panchayat mein aate the so that shows the difference between what the ecosystem is projecting okay. and what the ground reality